Hi guys, welcome to Sharp Moves. Today we're at uh, Fab Speed Motorsport. We have something actually really, really special. We're gonna get a full exclusive tour from the owner of this facility, uh, Joseph Fabiani. He's gonna show us everything that's going on with the facility. We're gonna talk a little bit with some of the employees. We're gonna see some of this, the projects they're working on right now and some of the new things they have coming for the C8, a couple of the new Porsche models and a couple other little special tidbits. So let's go in there and check it all out. Joe Fabiani and uh, I started this business 25 plus years ago designing engineering the world's finest parts for Porsche, Ferrari, McLaren and other vehicles and we have a worldwide clientele base. Small niche business but I'm still running it and uh, you're in our headquarters. How many uh, employees have you got? We've got close to 50. Very nice. Very good. And, and is there's it our just newest those... employee right there. Yeah. <laughs> Is it just those brands? Do you do anything? I saw on the website a little bit of stuff for BMW or do you um, outsource We that kind stuff? of, we do mostly Porsche, Ferrari, McLaren, Lamborghini, but then we'll do the BMW M series models, okay. some of the uh, SUV M models. We have a brand new 2021 M4 that somebody just dropped off at us. Yeah. But we kind of like navigate to like certain Range Rovers, certain Bentleys. Yeah. We kind of stay in our group. This okay. is the first year we came out with a system for the new 2020 Corvette C8, the mid-engine car, because yeah. Chevrolet finally is making them like a sports car yeah, compete nice. with other manufacturers. Yeah, no AMG? Um, we're working on potentially doing AMG cars too, yeah, certain yeah, AMGs, but like it's hard to get all these cars and develop them. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. very cool. That's awesome, should we take a little tour? Sure. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the sales and marketing department. Yeah. Yeah, you capture the walls, how much like amazing like swagger. Yeah. This is a car I bought brand new in the United States, nineteen ninety four, and it works into like a street street and track race car. So if you lived in Germany or other parts of the world you could have bought a car that looked just like this. With the exception of the wheels, and then I put racing seats in it. I lighten it up. Yeah. And uh had a lot of fun with it, learned a lot with this car. Uh, take it to the track pretty often? Yeah, I'm, I'm from Florida up to Canada to all over the place. Yeah, nice. Yes. That is cool. A lot of carbon fiber. So if you look in Germany, you could have bought a car like that, but they didn't make them in the United States like that. So okay. that's what we did. Okay. So uh, you're in our reception, our reception area. <laughs> We've had the Porsche Club in, the Ferrari Club, and other people. We keep uh, demo pieces up on the wall. There's a Boeing 747 engine cow. We made it into a car, and it's also a reception area. So, are you just exhaust and intakes, or do you do tuning, stuff like that? So, you well? do exhaust, air intakes, and tuning as well. So, ECU tunes, other stuff like that. Yeah. That's our primary business focus. That being said, occasionally somebody will want to get wheels, tires, and this might. But our bread and butter is air intake, exhaust, and then the tuning. In turbo, and he wanted bigger turbo charges on it and other stuff. We're able to do it, but that's not our normal business. Then we're developing a new set of headers for that car. Uh, that's one of my vehicles that Fran was driving. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to develop something for that, so I brought it over here. Yeah. And then we're back in the facility. We're in the shop right now. Right now. So we got a chassis guy over here. This is like a treadmill that you can run on. <laughs> That's the dyno, yeah, yeah, I saw this on your website or on the uh, YouTube channel. That's basically like a treadmill that you, like you train on, but we can put a car on there, it'll tell us how much horsepower and torque it's making without having to go to speed on the highways. That's the shipping department. We'll take photographs here of the cars. So is, it, is the dyno a service that you provide or do you have to be doing work here? So if somebody wanted to come in here, we could charge them to use our dyno and then they could run their car to see what's, what's going on. We should get some specs and some of that. Cool. And then uh, we have equipment in here as well. We have a water jet and then we keep, uh, that's where all the workers are making parts. 
where all the magic happens. That's where all the cutting and everything happens. Is that where you cut all the pieces and everything? We cut all the metal here, and we, we uh, set that water jet goes up to 90,000, 95,000 psi. Didn't, uh, didn't Tim, didn't Shmi 150 come through here with his 4 GT? Mm -hmm. So awesome. Yeah, he like a good guy. I guess, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, he's a good guy. They're all good guys. Yeah, they're good guys. Right. Mr. Green Speed 717 yeah. is in here. Oh, all these boys. Oh, uh, <laughs> That's so cool. Came out about a couple months ago. You remember? Yeah. Is the Speedster the convertible with the buttresses? Uh huh. Why? Right. It's a really rare car that they came yeah. out. Yeah. Right. Amazing. And then there's a picture for a new Corvette C8. So we developed all this in CAD, cut it out on a laser or a water jet, and then this is how we build our product. And then we're making high flow cabs for a Lamborghini V12, and that's how all the stuff gets built. That's called the press break. So what that does is you cut metal and then you put it in there, it comes down there and it and it bends the metal into shape. So everything, you know, appliances, this and that, this, this thing will come down there and it'll, it'll bend it into a, into a shape like that. Yep. So you would never want to get your finger stuck in there because you're going to cut your finger right off. <laughs> But you put something in, it'll bend it up. Like that was made on a sheet metal brake, but not on this machine. Yeah. 
bobbing. Yeah, very cool. And all the other stuff or equipment that we used to cut metal, and then all those are workstations right back there where guys are assembling parts and assembling pieces. Okay. You do all this, obviously, you do all this part here, right? Everything's not here. Uh huh. Well, we don't try to do any installation work. What we're doing is we're manufacturing parts to ship to people so they oh, can I have see. their stuff okay. done. So but, you don't necessarily uh, have to bring your car here. You can right, because we, we don't want to do service. We don't want to do work. We yeah. don't want to do installations. That being said, if somebody locally says, I want a factory part for my car, sure, we would entertain Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. How are you doing, man? What's going on? Alright, I do. So, uh, we bought us a brand new car. So, we'll try to make an exhaust for this or maybe an air intake. Yeah. They took it out to get video of it to see how it sounded. Yeah, see how well it, how it looked. A manual too, eh? Boss black. I think it's a beast. Absolute beast. Cool. Thanks yeah. a lot to Joe for giving us a full sort of you know walkthrough on, on the design and the uh, Sort of the, the whole process of the, of the facility. Really, really appreciate it. Um, pretty state of the art, first class uh, place you've got here. So we really appreciate you giving us a little. My, my pleasure, yeah. Just check us out online at fabspeed.com. Uh, we're the world's authority on, on uh, exhaust performance for Porsche, Ferrari, McLaren, Lamborghini, and other cars right out here in the United States. Okay, excellent. So I'll link everything in, in the description if you guys need uh, some stuff. You know where to go. Thank you.